Hi friends, welcome back. It's been a long time since I got to record one of these videos for you and it's been even longer since we got to have Light Up Club. I'm hoping that will change again soon, but for now I'm just glad to be back on the shore with you all. Now today's sermon is about a story that you have probably heard before about Noah and the ark. Now on Noah's ark, there's all these animals. Now what animals can you think of that would be on the ark with Noah and his family? What are all the animals that you can think of? There's lions and tigers and bears and wolves and... Would there be dinosaurs? I don't know. Would there be sharks? Probably not, because they could just stay in the water. Um, but I did see one really cool animal uh, while I was traveling the past couple weeks, and I'm gonna show that animal to you real fast. Are they gonna get up? Isn't that cool? Now that video does not capture how big moose are. They were really far away in that video. A moose head would be um, bigger than Sela, bigger than my dog here. <laughs> and that's just their head. Can you imagine? Noah and his family with two moose on the ark. How much food did they need to have on the ark for just the two moose, never mind the other animals? That's a lot. Can you imagine taking care of that many pets? Just for Sayla, there are chores that I have to do every single day to take care of her. I have to get her outside in the morning so she can go for a walk, and then I have to feed her and make sure that she has water all day and make sure she has places where she can sleep and give her lots of pets so that she knows that she is loved. <laughs> but there's a lot to do to take care of just one animal. Can you imagine taking care of all of those animals on the ark? Now we are not on an ark, and I hope you don't have that many animals to take care of because that would be a lot. But life is different right now than it normally is when you're getting ready to go back to school. I don't know how exactly you're handling school this year, but I'm sure it is different from what you've done before and for different from what your parents have done before. Are you worried about school? Are you excited to go back? Maybe. I was, I was always one of those kids that was so excited to go back to school. I'm not sure how I would feel about this year. It's a pretty strange year. <laughs> now maybe you don't have a whole zoo to take care of, but you do have a you to take care of. And it's okay if there are days when the stuff that you need to do for school or for home just seems really hard. Maybe it takes longer than you think it should. Or maybe it just seems like there is so much to do that there's just no way you can do it all. And it's okay to have hard days. And I imagine Noah and his family trying to figure out how they were gonna feed a moose and another moose and all the other animals on that ark. And then get up the next day and do it again. So now if you are uh, going back to school or going to school for the first time right now or going to daycare, if you're getting ready to go and do things that you 
might find a little bit hard right now. And grown-ups, you too. <laughs> if you're getting ready to do things that feel different or hard or overwhelming, then I invite you to hold your hands out like this. It looks like you're ready and you're waiting for some sort of a present, right? So I want you to hold your hands like this and I'm going to hold mine like this. And this is one way that we can pray a blessing. So I'm going to pray a blessing for all of you. Let's pray. God, thank you for these kids and for the love that they have for you and each other and their families. And I pray that you will bless them this year as they get ready to learn in ways that none of us grown-ups have ever had to figure out before. I pray that you will bless them with the understanding and the strength to do all the hard things that are theirs to do this year. And I pray that we get to celebrate their amazing imaginations and the beautiful stories they tell and pictures they create. And I pray that you will help us to be there for each other. Just like Noah and his family kept taking care of each other for that really, really long time on the ark. We ask all of these things in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you for joining me. I hope that you have a great day. And I hope you never have to figure out how to take care of a moose. And I hope that you can keep taking care of yourself and asking for help when you need it, and helping out with your family and your friends when they need it. And I hope that I will get to see you soon at Light Up Club. Bye.